welcome to the Mom It's My Life podcast. This episode features adults using adult language. Listener discretion is advised. Satan, shut the fuck up. What's up, you guys? Welcome to Mom It's My Life. It's our podcast. I'm joined here with Chris. Hey, guys. How's it going? Hey, Chris, who are we joined here with? We are joined here with Hannah Greenwood from Creeper, everybody. Yeah. It's like one of those moments where I expect to hear like clapping. And there's no clapping. <laughs> no claps. <laughs> Audience interaction, guys. <laughs> yeah. I'll add some claps afterwards. So, Hannah, how are you? <laughs> I'm all right, thank you. How are you? Good. Mm-hmm. Drinking your tango. Is that tango? Getting by. Mm-hmm. It is tango. Yeah. I bought a whole Jealous. 24 pack for six pound from Tesco. Oh Cent- my god! That's, that's not bad. <laughs> it's pretty it's good. It's a good deal. Eh? <laughs> it's a great deal. Um, all right. How are you finding quarantine? What have you been like up to? um yeah i've got into a bit of a routine now like um working out a lot like today i went for a so like before quarantine i couldn't jog 5k like probably couldn't even jog 1k without like (laughs) a bit of walking like yeah that's fine but like i don't know recently i've just been doing lots of jogging i've been doing my daily exercise i'm still only going out once a day like i'm not gonna Mm -hmm. go and sit in a park yeah um I bought like quite a few jigsaws because I love, I fucking Ooh. love jigsaws. Oh, jigsaws yeah. are Lego. But there's oh, jigsaws are fucking expensive. Like because so, I go so, for so the Ravensburger good. ones and they're oh, like yeah. ten oh. pounds. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? Oh, they're the proper ones. <laughs> there oh, we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like proper. Like you know, the pieces are like stiff. Like they're not flimsy. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's kind of you what know I'm it's thinking. a real deal. It's a good quality <laughs> jigsaw. You've got yourself. Like, oh, nice. Yeah. That's good. That's good. So and I guess that... it's good as well doing exercise because it you know releases your inner your endorphins. Yeah, yeah it does. And it like it, it, it actually makes when I wake up in the morning, I look forward. I never thought I would say I look forward to going for a run, but like I genuinely look forward to it. All right, it's mad. Yes, like there's... the endorphins are legit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the, the endorphins it's are legit. Legit, man. <laughs> like endorphins like equals that. legit. Like, if anyone uh, thinks endorphins are bullshit, I'm telling you, they're not. We've got proof they are legit. Oh, yeah, nice. the truth. That's, that's so, really cool. um, so tell us about yourself. Tell us, you know, the viewers and all that. Um, what what do you do? Where do you live? Uh, so I live. I live outside Oxford. Um, I won't tell you where because nobody has ever heard of it and it's just hard to explain. Um, so I basically just say I live in Oxford. I am getting old, so I'm turning 30 in August and I'm kind of hoping no, that it's not, not. going to be in isolation. I know! You look amazing! <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hell yeah, girl! <laughs> People are always like, I, I, I went somewhere once. Um, I signed up to, uh, I went to Slimmy World with my mum because she nice. wanted to be waiting for the wedding. And I went there and I think you have to be 18. And the lady sat me down and was like, um, are you old enough to sign up? And I was like, yeah, yeah. And at the time I was 28. And she was like, oh, oh my God, God, I'm so sorry. That's and amazing. I was like, no, 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 it's fine. That's so good. I was like, yes, it's fine. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> my new best Thank friend. Thank you for thinking I'm 17. Like, I'm stuck with that forever. <laughs> that was like my older, because I used to do musical theatre. So my dance teacher was 40. And he looked that young, he still got ID'd to go into clubs and pubs and all that because yes. they're like you look like you're like a 16 year old he's like i'm 40 but i'll take it he's like, <laughs> yeah right so it's funny like goodness. when i was younger if people like oh, i remember i was hanging out with a friend of my mum and she was like oh so what are you doing for your a levels and at the time i was at uni and like it really annoyed me and my mum was like oh when you get older you'll like you'll really appreciate when someone thinks you're younger and i've got to that yeah. age now where i'm like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh that's oh, great man. um but yeah so aside from being old soon um <laughs> i play keys in a band called creeper and i do a little bit of singing as well a little bit of singing nice. and that's, that's, that's singing. my life nice. that's awesome nice so you so you were the uh session keyboardist weren't you in creeper before joining the band um yep. so before you were in the band, how does it how does it um, transition from you being a session player to being in the band? Was it natural? Did it just happen? Yeah, or... it was. Um, so I knew Sean, who plays bass. Uh, I knew him when I was at uni, and he called me one day while I was uh, working at my job. I used to work at a school. I was the school secretary, um, oh, which is very different from what I do now. But yeah, he called me one day and was like, "I'm in this band." 
and we need somebody to play keys because like none of us are really sort of good enough apart from plonking a few notes out on the piano and he was like and I remember that you play keys and I was like yeah sure so I went down to Southampton one day uh did some stuff on the EP which was my god I guess it was the stranger EP at the time um right and then yeah so I did that and it just was really natural and it got to the point where they were like we can't actually tour without you well we don't really want to tour without you like we don't want to put keys and and like your backing vocals on a track yeah um do you basically want to quit your job and tour with us full time and I was like absolutely yes I do want to do that yeah Yeah. nice so it was so it's very natural yeah it was that one was it was it that one lot of recordings that that was it it was like as soon as you did that it was straightforward yeah it was basically um put some stuff down on the EP like hung out with them a bit um Mm -hmm. I did a tour with them uh in August 2015 with Jerry Only's Misfits and I was still a session player at the time at the time so I was kind of like right at the back of the stage like hidden away and then after that tour they were basically like we don't really want to do it without you and I don't yeah. really see how we can so rather than you be a session player we'd quite yeah. like to put you in full time that's, that's really awesome cool. oh nice yeah I bet you were so it's very awesome, organic like to 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 get that yeah do you want to stay in the band you'd like yeah it was like (laughs) oh um and like I'd been at my new job for like two I think I'd been there for about a year and a half two years and when I got Mm -hmm. the job they were like um is this going to be a permanent position for you and I was planning on moving from receptionist to headmaster's PA and I was like yeah like this is what I want to do like I'm going to be here permanently Mm -hmm. and then I had to be like so something's coming <laughs> second thoughts <laughs> that's mad. they were chill about it though they knew that that's what i always wanted to do and like they were like right. you will you'll never have this opportunity again like you don't mm-hmm. have kids like you might as well like make the most of it and just go mm-hmm. touring and i was like bye yeah that's amazing oh, sweet that's so yeah. good oh nice right i've got a uh... An interesting, just a weird question that I'm just going to throw in here. Can you please explain to me what Creeper Angel Blood Plum Hot Sauce is and how it came about? Uh, um, I think you really need Will here. Um, but right. like a friend of Will's called Lou. I've only met him right. like once or twice. I'm like the worst for meeting people. Like, I'm socially very awkward. <laughs> so I don't really That's mean that. <laughs> we all are. <laughs> yeah, I'm literally the worst. But he, he's got like a hot sauce company. And right. he, like Will is massive on hot sauce. Like Will, what Will can eat in terms of like spice is just ridiculous. <laughs> so it would be pointless doing a challenge with him, you know, like. like just pointless. Like, do. <laughs> yeah, like he... I think he went to uh, he went for a curry and he basically said to the guy like what's the hottest and they were like oh you can have a fall which is like the hottest hottest and he was like but I will warn you like it is really fucking hot and he and Will You'll was like nah, I'll take it <laughs> yeah yeah and like <laughs> and, they, and he was like okay so he brought out this fall for Will and he ate it like no problem like he's basically got no taste buds at this point so it doesn't oh my affect him God. right but like he then went out to a club and had like had a couple of beers and he just said that like his insides felt like the depths oh. of hell <laughs> <laughs> i've been out after like a rogan josh with the boys and like a few cur- like a few beers uh, and in the morning it's like it's not a good time i cannot a hole imagine. right off yeah, I mean, he didn't go. He didn't go too far into detail, but he was just like, yeah. um, he just said it felt like there was like a red hot poker in his belly, basically. Oh, <laughs> and I was no. like, well, yeah, no it. So yeah, so he's like a big fan of hot sauce, and right. um, basically, him and Lou came up with the idea to make a hot sauce. I haven't actually tried it. I don't have it yet. Like well, um I'm guessing at some point I'll have some, but cuz I was yeah. I heard about this like well a couple of weeks ago uh, in passing somewhere on Twitter I saw it and I was like, "Oh, I'll check it out. I might get some." And it's sold out everywhere. Yeah. It sold out oh, like so complex. quickly. I mean, it, um, that's a hot it's a hot it's, pardon the pun, but it's a hot commodity. It's, 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 it's brand well, yeah. hot sauce. It's <laughs> 
That's really people. Cool, yeah, guys. people love hot sauce. They went, they went wild for that hot sauce. Yeah. And like I can people, they're like sending us some. Um, I've seen quite a few like recipes of people using it. And I'm like, damn, I still haven't tried. Oh, awesome! Oh, really guy, that you it. haven't tried any. I'll let <laughs> you, you know. Like any. when I get it, I'll let you know what it's like. Yes, please do. I'm very intrigued to find out what it is. Plum, plum hot sauce. Never had it. Love it. Okay, so, yeah. um, yeah. also, so the new album. Tell us all about the new album. Are you excited? And yeah, I'm. I am really excited. Like we pushed it back. Um, it was meant to come out on the 22nd of May, and we've pushed it back. Right to the 31st of July um because we've rescheduled our tour that was meant to be in April we've Mm -hmm. rescheduled it to August uh Mm. I mean it's tricky because no one no one has any idea what's going to happen no it's hard isn't it it's really difficult and like it's probably I don't want to be negative but like it's probably not going to happen in August now because I can't see hundreds of people being able to be in a room together but we're like that's just me speculating but yeah, so we push it back to July, uh, and uh, yeah, like I'm super excited about it, and I just want people to hear it because it's been mm. so long in the making. It's been like a really long time since we released mm-hmm. the first album. Oh, it so has been, album, yeah. The first album was twenty seventeen. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, twenty seventeen. Um, so, so I've yeah, long. that's that. Yeah, and um, I've got a, a friend, Ben. I'm going to shout out Ben Aldridge here because he is a big fan of yours and he's a good friend of ours. Um, and I asked him, if you could ask you any questions, what what would you ask? Uh, and he said, uh, if you could choose one Creeper song uh, to listen to for the rest of lockdown, past or present, what would it be? <laughs> That's, it would be... Uh, so, what would it be? Okay, it would be... <laughs> Can we do future? Can we do one? Can I have one yeah, of the new yeah, albums? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go okay. For it. it would be one called All My Friends, which is, oh, I can't wait for people to hear that. Um, yeah. It's the hidden, last track. It's got a hidden track, track 15. Ooh. Yeah, that's, oh, the hidden track's sick, actually. But um, <laughs> yeah, so All My Friends, <laughs> honestly, I can't wait for people to hear it. But it's definitely, it's like, I, I don't want to give too much away, actually, because I don't know. Yeah. I just don't know. But the it's parameters. sick. Sure. Like oh, that is what I would listen to for the rest of lockdown, and I kind of hope that people would agree. Um, right, it's a sad right. one. It is a sad one, but like I like sad. I feel nice, like the nice. sad songs from like my favorite albums, uh, songs from albums are always the sad ones. Yeah, I just I'm a yeah. sucker for like a ballad, mm-hmm. like any sort of sad banger. I'm like, yeah, I love it. A sad banger. <laughs> so sad like, banger talking ballad. about like the new stuff. How would you compare the nudes, the new album to the old stuff? Like, I, I saw an interview somewhere saying that this was a lot more, like, there's a lot more keys and different kind of sounds going on. How would you compare the two? It is, it's very different. And I think, uh, I think, it's like, I think for some people it might be too different. I've already seen a few comments from people being like, oh, are you yeah. going to release any up-tempo stuff? Uh, or is there going to be any up tempo stuff on this album? And and there is some up tempo stuff, but it's not the same as the like EPs. Kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's not like it's not like Poison Pens. It's not like Gloom. Like mm-hmm. it, it's it is very different, and it is um, it is quite theatrical and keys based. There's orchestra in there, and awesome. there is still like hints of creeper there's still like the creeper ballads in there so all my friends is kind of like the new misery uh and then Dude. there's like a duet in there with me and will and like there, there's there is some like stuff like old creeper stuff but i do think it'll it will split people off uh right. it's it is a change in sound from from like original creeper for sure yeah but i, I do feel that if bands were to keep on you know, repeating the same stuff, it'll just get boring, I guess. So I think it's mm. really good to venture out and, you know, make new music that, you know, it is is still you, but kind of... Yeah. Not, yeah, if you get me. Yeah, um, you have to, like, you have to change. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. like you said, you can't be the same. It's like when Paramore, I remember when they moved from, like, Riot and, like, oh, they yeah. evolved. And at first, I was like, oh, no. But but then I was like, well, no, you have to evolve. Like, you can't, you can't just keep churning out the same stuff because yeah. people mm-hmm. get bored. 
and and like the thing is like what i've realized about being in a band is like you really can't please everyone and like you will oh, lose yeah. people and there will be people that are like this is shit or like can't believe you don't sound like you used to and they're the ones that that's fine like that's obviously your opinion but we have to evolve and we have to do what is best for us and, and if we can't please you then that's okay yeah. yeah and yeah. you're always i think every band and artist they're always going to get compared to their most you know popular album or their first album or their original sound so if you're doing exactly the same sound if the songs aren't as you know popular enough to the fans they'll always they'll, they'll always still have something, something to say um yeah. so i feel like I've, i'm really excited to hear you, like the new music yeah honestly like i yeah we, uh, it over to kind of like reward people for waiting a, another two months for july like we, we have got some stuff coming out like we're gonna um we're releasing a song that isn't on the album called damned and doomed which is just for people that have pre-ordered uh which they'll get at, i think the end of may and like we you know we with creeper we always try like we always have the listener's best interest at heart mm-hmm. um and yeah so i'm really excited so it's not it isn't just a case like for the people that are like damn like i really wanted creeper's album to listen to in lockdown like we're still going to be doing stuff until the album is released. It's not just like, sorry, you've got to wait a few more months. So yeah, it, it, like, I'm super excited. I really want people to hear it. I could just yeah. want it's very cool. to be out and I just wish that we could tour, but it's got to wait a bit longer for that. R.I.P. <laughs> um, so you were saying it's very uh, theatrical. So is there characters in the songs that I, that I read in interviews that Annabelle has a, you know, certain character in, this, in the, in the yeah. album? Yeah. That- so it's still like it's still a kind of concept album and there's still a story behind it obviously it's it's totally removed from um eternity like and like the callous heart and stuff like that um but yeah there are characters um like will's character is called roe and my character is annabelle and they basically like fall in love and like annabelle is meant to marry someone else and it's set in uh like a sort of mining town and Roe is this kind of, I can't really think of the right word, but he's like this non earthly kind of being, if that makes sense. And like, yeah, so there is a story to it and like that will come out a bit more. And like, there's lots of ideas that we've got to sort Mm -hmm. of create that storyline. That's awesome. I find it so interesting. Um, And ages ago, oh, when was it? You guys released a book, didn't you? Yeah, God, that was yeah. oh my God, that was like three years ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's very that's yeah. so interesting. It's very cool. That was fun. Yeah, that was it. basically like all the story of uh, the last story, and it had like lots of different bits in it. I've got, I think I've got it somewhere, like upstairs. But like, it sometimes I flick through it just to remind myself of yeah. like all. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, did, what did we do? I always yeah, find it like, so interesting what... with like with Creeper, like you and will in particular so creative like the vision of everything is so like it's down to a t i'd like i'd liken it very much to like my chem it's the kind of how i see it oh it's so interesting and and, like visual and like i was looking at like uh people were asking you and will about uh like about the new logo and stuff like that and i find that really interesting is like how a lot of people just look past it as a it's a new logo but everything has a meaning and everything like this this yeah you do everything for a reason which yeah. i love it's not it's not just that. an album yeah it's like and i i would love to be able to take the credit for it but like will is really like will is the the brains like i'm just kind of there to like fill in the gaps i guess like i'm just the the piano player no but like uh, well the, i'm just the, the drummer, way his... so, um... <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm honestly like no, just think, please. but like the way his brain works um like his creative ability and like he doesn't stop um and i look at him and like i really asp- i would I, I aspire to sort of be like will because i can get into a bit of a rut and i can be a bit of i can be quite lazy um and will is just constantly thinking he's all like everything happens for a reason and like he has all these creative ideas um yeah and the same with ian like the way they bounce off each other Mm. i'm just like how does your brain work yeah, like this yeah. like i have to I, i'm I, thinking about what i'm having for lunch not like the logo of the new album 
<laughs> I, I'm I'm not I'm like you uh, I don't have the brain for that kind of level of focus and function for other things that are so like not in like the, the conversation that's going on at the moment whereas like Bron is not like that at all she's so like she can be in a we can be having a conversation and her head will instantly switch to something that's like five months down the line that she's got an idea for and it's like I don't understand. see that I just I sense. wish I could be like that I am jealous yeah. of people like that like yeah. I can if I'm given a task I'm really good at like focusing and like I'm I'm quite stubborn and like if I want to get something done I'll get it done but like usually that's with guidance from someone else I'm not very good like I'm not a very good leader um whereas Will is a fantastic leader and that's why mm. like I don't know like some people say to me like do you think you could front a band and I'm like no like what I do I know that people sort of see some people see Will and I as like a joint front, but it isn't like that. Like I couldn't do what Will does. I don't have the confidence to be, mm. he just like radiates this, like just confidence. It's an and aura about him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, but I think it works well. The dynamic between him and me, I think it works really well. And I don't oh, think it would fine. work having two leaders. Um, yeah. So yeah, like, and that's fine. Like I'm really happy with my position. But yeah, I just I'm just so jealous of the way his brain works. I wish my brain was constantly <laughs> like. <laughs> um, so I saw um an interview uh you did. I think it was for was it National Women's Day or something? Um, basically you were saying how you gave an example that you walk into a venue, you have to flash your landlord you, you la lanyard to everyone, <laughs> and um, <laughs> and um, and um <laughs> you know. The, guy members don't have to, and how you still find you have to not prove yourself. But as in, you know, to f for women in the industry. So, what are your thoughts on that, and how how do you kind of overcome any comments or? Yeah, that that's always been a tricky one. Like there was an incident. Oh my god, it was like four four years ago. There was an incident. Like uh, we were on tour with Let Live and Pierce the Veil, and I yeah, I was basically at a venue, and I had had a conversation with the stage manager about loading out. And we, it was a one-to-one -one conversation between me and this guy. And he was like, can you just make sure that your crew don't leave uh, flight cases in front of the fire exit? And I was like, yeah, no problem. Like we're loading out now. Like that's all good. And then I wheeled a flight case out, walked back into the venue with uh, one of the guys in Let Live. And we were sort of talking and he'd, he'd put his arm around me in like, just in like a friendly way. Like I had my yeah, yeah. bright green lanyard with my laminate on it. And his was in his back pocket. And the guy that I had just had the conversation with stopped in front of me and put his hand basically in my face. I was like, oh, sorry, you, you can't come in this way. And I was like, we have just had a conversation. I was like, I'm literally, oh I was like, I'm wearing my laminate. Like I'm in the band. And, and he was like, oh, and like laughed it off. And I was like, no. And I turned to him and I was like, that isn't acceptable. Look at all the male members. Like I was the only female person on that whole tour. And yeah. I was like, you're not even checking their laminates. Like they're, all their laminates are tucked in their pocket, in the fucking dressing room, on the butt. Like most of them had them on their person. But like, and I was like, why, why, why have you stopped me for no other reason than sexism? And he was like, it's not like that. And I was like, what is it then? What like, else please. is it? Yeah. Like, and then he just laughed at me and I was like, no, no, no. And then in the end, like, our tour manager basically had to have a chat with like the venue manager and like, it was this big thing. And then the guy came and apologized well, and like brought me a bottle of whiskey. Yeah. And I was like, it's still not right, but I'll take your yeah. whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. <laughs> and then like, but I made, I made a big post about it on the internet and most people understood what I was saying, but I was met with backlash and people being like, that's not sexist. Fuck, calm down, love. And I was like, Oh my that's, God, like this yeah. is the problem. Yeah. Probably so they just don't understand and, yeah and it was all like it was all men that were like calm down like yeah. somebody was like calm down sugar tits and i was like what oh, yeah. what <laughs> what <laughs> like, yeah. it's, 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 it's insane, insane. From, from, it's from, from, a, from from a guy's perspective and like obviously i like playing for bron i didn't think i didn't even think about it because like when i was growing up it was bands like paramore where i was like i saw Haley williams and i i just automatically went i'd love to do what she does like, I didn't even think anything of it because to me it was like um, the way I was brought up 
it's the same person. There's no difference. But like since playing and it should Gibraltar, be like that I've seen it for I've seen it firsthand how awful it can be. And like when we went to see Withcon, um, the their merch girl, someone was giving her a load of abuse, and they had to kick him out of the venue. And it's like it's just it blows my mind in the music industry how how just backwards it can be sometimes. I just find yeah, it it's it's even just the way you look. Like I I I love makeup. I love being you know. I love wearing makeup on stage and I'll, I'll wear a skirt or whatever. Yeah. And I have people saying, oh, I, th- I thought when we were supporting Neck Deep and Waste, in fact, people were like, I want to apologize because obviously I've never said anything online, but I just thought you would be like a stupid girly girl on stage, not really knowing anything, but, and thinking that your music's a bit shit. But um, mm. I actually really enjoyed your performance. And I was like, that's literally like, because the way I like you look and it's like, it should have to be like that. And I know it's that pre judgment. It's mm-hmm. like, I just, yeah, and like, it's happened to so, like, pretty much every single woman I have met in, in the music industry, like, whether they're a photographer, like, merch in the band, like, they've all faced problems with security, where it's either been, like, consistently having their laminate checked even though it's around their neck, or, like, the same person is still asking, like, mm-hmm. obviously, I appreciate that security, Safety. yeah, they have to do their yeah. job, and, like, one thing that like I have never I have always worn my laminate where you can see it because that's what they're for. Like I don't I'm not one of these people that's like, Do you not know who I am? Like, do you not know that I'm in the band? Yeah, like yeah. it's not fucking like that. But like Do you know who I am? See, excuse me. <laughs> but when you see like male members of crew that have their laminate like on their hip, under their hoodie or like in their back pocket and they don't even get a second glance it's like mm. wow okay mm-hmm. cool like who do you think i am you, do you just assume that i'm just a girlfriend like that yeah. drives me mad. maybe it's you bad. should start playing the uh do you fucking know who i am card i think i might just get a t-shirt yeah. and be like do you, do you know do you fucking <laughs> <laughs> and just your name on the back <laughs> Yeah. yeah, don't <laughs> fucking ask if me. If they're like, no, you just turn around. Like... <laughs> yeah. no, I am. Well, fucking <laughs> read, read this as I walk past you. <laughs> <laughs> but it is shit. Like, and like, actually, in fairness, I mean, we haven't toured for quite some time now, but like, it hasn't happened to me as regularly as it mm. used to. Like, when I first started touring, mm. it really did happen quite a lot and like it hasn't happened to me so much now but like i know it's still happening like it, it, like mm. I, sadly it probably always will yeah i think that's kind of very, very uh, it's unfortunate that's the way the world is now and yeah i mean yeah. Um, it's, it's horrible to say there's not a lot you can do about it because there should be everything you can do about it but like the kind of people that are in power in like america it's like it doesn't really like bode particularly well for like how we're gonna get past this kind of thing. But yeah, you know, yeah. For sure. um, but like, so speaking of saying you haven't toured in a while, um, you have been playing with well, last year you were doing a lot of stuff with Neck Deep. So how did that stuff kind of come up? How did that come about? Um. Oh my god, I actually can't remember. <laughs> no, but like, <laughs> uh, oh my goodness, how did that start? I actually don't know. But yeah, like I did, I did do some stuff for them, um, right. like session stuff, uh, which was really fun. And it was nice because it kind of just filled the time mm-hmm. uh, that I wasn't doing anything. Um, I'm not like, at the moment, I'm not doing any session for stuff for them right now because the idea was that we were going to be touring most of this year. So I wouldn't yeah. have been able to do Neck Deep and Creeper at the same time. But I'm sure like the opportunity will come again where I can do some stuff for Nate Deep. But like I've been friends with them for years. We toured with them in 2016. And yeah, it was just a case of when Phil left, um, they didn't really have any harmonies. And I, I think it was a case of like not wanting to necessarily put harmonies on track. And I was there like, I can stand in the back and sing. Yeah. And that was, oh, that was really? yeah. And then I did like a lit, like I played a little bit of piano on uh, one or two of the sh- tracks on their new album. Um, but yeah, it's, Sick. I guess with them, that would probably just be a, like a rolling thing. Like if I go to one of their shows and they're like, oh yeah, do you want to, do you want to sing? But they've got Seb now and like Seb's yeah. mm-hmm. like just talented all around. So he's, oh, he is, isn't he? Oh, he's fantastic. Amazing. Yeah. I mean, they're all great, but mm-hmm. ultimately like Creeper is where I want to concentrate my time. 
and yeah, as much as sure. I'd love to be able to do Creeper and Neck Deep, I would just constantly be on tour. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. You do need yeah. some downtime. Uh, yeah. that, that's where we all met, wasn't it? Neck Deep show? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Wait, that was when almost was a year that? ago. Oh, shit. I know. Yeah. May, was it May 18th? Wait, I can tell you, I've got the thing. It was the 18th of May. Hey. I've got the, I've got the oh snare drum head on the wall. From, do you know what? It's interesting. I got, I got everyone to sign that who played for Neck Deep that night. And you didn't sign it, so... <laughs> oh, my God. It. I'll sign I'll it now, it. virtually. Yeah, <laughs> virtually sign it. Because <laughs> I, I, I met you in the toilet, you were on the phone, and I was like, hello. Oh, yeah! <laughs> and you were like, who's this fucking crazy girl? <laughs> <laughs> who is this? Why? I can't even remember. Who's that? With a natural hair, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, oh, my God, I cannot actually believe that was a year ago. Nearly a year I know. Ago. Mm, that was, that was, that's gone really quickly wow if, if lockdown like isolation could go that quickly that'd be wonderful <laughs> hell yeah. Yeah. yeah isn't that insane if someone if someone would say to you next uh, last year right this time next year you're just all gonna be in lockdown for months i'd be, I'd be like, like, isn't that insane fuck sake. what are you saying i'd have been pissed like damn yeah. it <laughs> especially because this stupid. this time of the year so we we normally do all our headline shows end of the year and beginning so all the money we make we travel around Europe and do free acoustic hangouts with the fans and meet them all and yeah. um, that's always at this time of year and now we can't go and we're like it's, like, it's, it's so just sad. a summer it's a summer it's, just... it's like festivals gone like I've got yeah. Slamdong tickets and I was just like oh for fuck's it's sake it's so but... oh my god I just oh. we were supposed to be obviously <laughs> we had the tour in April we were supposed to be mm. doing loads of yeah. festivals like all over Europe in June and then like 2000 trees and then like going on tour towards the end of the year and it's just like I've just, I haven't even opened my diary. Like, I might as well just put it in the bin. Like, I don't yeah. think that. Like, <laughs> What's the uh, point in 2020 diary? No, because yeah, I was speaking. Yeah, I'm going to burn it. Yeah. <laughs> I was speaking to uh, Seb and he was like, I don't even know if we're going to be able to do this September tour. Yeah. And, stuff. and he's just like. It's horrible. It's horrible. It's that, horrible. Yeah. I was just talking to um, Matt, the drum tech. And mm. um, yeah. And like, I just sort of said to him, I don't know like if touring happens this year and that is a big big if i don't personally don't think it will that it's going to be like small venues like less than 500 cap less and even then that's a push <clears throat> but like yeah. to do ali pali i don't think that'll happen for them this year and that sucks no, i mean they'll smash it next year but like for them it's it sucks like i really hope it happens yeah yeah like unless yeah. there's a magical fact and, and especially because they haven't been touring a lot have they as in we're not in the UK anyway. for, for a while yeah yeah exactly. not for a so. while and everyone like because their album comes out in july and it would have just been like sick like the new album and then like ali pali and like all those mm. september shows and and it's like oh no. yeah um so sad. right this call is about to end because zoom yeah starts. i thought it was gonna um but hannah thank you so much for coming on and chatting to us it's that's been... okay yeah, an absolute it was fun. dream. Um, one last question before this ends. I have no idea when it's going to end. Uh, what's your favourite meal deal? Uh, oh my god, I don't know. Oh, 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 like I'm probably oh, probably something really boring, like a Tesco, like sandwich crisps, ripe. I knew that was going to happen. I watched it tick down, and then it. I know. I was like, did you hear? Did you... About a minute, and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> All I said was like, oh, I don't know, like a sandwich crisp and ripe, oh, and then it was like. <laughs> And it was got. I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. The Zoom was like, <laughs> "Fuck shit, let's do. We're just gonna end it." <laughs> nah, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. So, Bron, I know that there's a couple. Of, well, there's a few more things you wanted to ask before we went, and yes. then obviously it ended quite abruptly. But we're back. <laughs> yeah, it was like we're back. We're back. <laughs> yeah. So, so what is your uh, actual meal deal of choice? Yeah, what oh. is your meal deal of choice? You got to do the flavors. I judge. There's two people. I judge. There's two things I judge people on. One is shoes. The other is meal deal. Okay. Oh no. Okay. I don't. Okay. This is this is a tough one. So, Seriously. depending on what depending on what, what mood I'm in, like my local convenience store is the Co-op, and they do a good pasta, tomato, basil, salad thing. But no, actually, maybe not that. It would be it would be a sandwich, mm -hmm. probably. I'm a big fan of egg and cress and prawn mayonnaise, which I know is not up there for a lot of people. I am a fan of that. I'll, I'll, I mean, good. don't get me wrong. I'm a fan of it. But when that sandwich is like 
one pound eighty anyway. Why not shoot for the stars and like give yourself like the two pound fifty sandwich? <laughs> Get your money's worth. Like, yeah, that is true. Saying. But I do like if the, most of the time that I'm doing a meal deal is like obviously probably when I'm on tour and I'm yeah. trying my best to be as healthy as possible. So like I find yeah. with the prawn and the egg, they're like the the less on the less calorie side. Yeah, yeah. and then yeah. I'll like yeah. go for a bit of Monster Munch pickled onion i mean any monster yes munch. yes yes that is but pickled onion a is, good answer is the it's, one. it's it's a god tier crisp 100%. yeah my 100%. favorite is that or quavers oh my god i love all skips mccoy's barbecue oh to be fair, <laughs> crinkle any cut oh. oh any cr- crisps are yeah, just good. Yeah, just carbs. Give me, give me carbs. Like, yeah, just, just get, just. <laughs> I love crisps. Like a fucking grab bag, share bag. No, it's just for me. Hell like, yeah, that's that's fine. And what drinks? So, yeah. Oh yeah, what drink? Oh well, like that. Oh, I don't know. Like if there's a lilt there, maybe a lilt. A lilt. Rabina, yeah. Very exotic. Very, ex- uh-huh. you know, or. Robins, uh, is it Robinsons? They do like their kind of like flavored water ones, which I know is a yeah. little bit boring, but like they're actually quite nice. Like they're not just like shitty flavored water. They are it's pretty like, good. Yeah, it depends I how remember, sugary I feel. I remember when I was yeah. at school, primary school, when they first released the um, it was the, it was like H two O, but it was like the juiced version of it, and like everyone <laughs> yeah. used to bring in these bo- bottles, and it was like it was the first time like clear juice was a thing. And like the school had to like ban having anything but the s- official school water bottles. But they were no like, way. All, this, all these kids just before the school, they just crack open the bottle and like pour it into the like. That was yeah. like, yeah. it was like trying to s- get past your parents when you were drunk when you came home. From yeah, it was like it was the same <laughs> equivalent, but a primary school like trying to sneak drinks into class. That's amazing. That's Looking so good. That, I love how it. ridiculous is that? <clears throat> I like that flavored water into class, like so <laughs> rebels, true rebels. Yeah, rebel. So, um, so we were chatting about this at Slam Dunk because I saw it on your uh, your Instagram. So, Grandma Wolf. Yeah. yeah, that that's kind of like bless it. That's on the back burner a bit at the moment. Mm-hmm. Just I've because. literally, I've literally just bought a T-shirt like an hour. I ago. thought you did. I saw like, it. I was like, the, that's so cool. In the interim. <laughs> Yeah, like between the zoom meetings i was like oh <laughs> thank you that's that's very nice of you yeah um yeah it's, it is kind of on the back burner the difficult thing is like i find with independent clothing companies it's quite oversaturated yes um mm. there's a lot of independent clothing companies and like ollie uh creeper guitar has one and he's doing really well like he um he's in like a partnership with a guy called il wookie and like they're doing like they're absolutely killing it and like their designs are really cool and like again it's the similar sort of thing where i'm just a bit lazy and which sucks because i'm like damn and like because ideas don't flow naturally through my brain because it's so full mm. of like food and cats <laughs> just carbs. Um, cats. i just cats can't like carbs. i just i just yeah cats and carbs i'm like <laughs> i just can't like i don't know like i do really want to keep doing stuff with it and like the idea is to I, but i can't i can't pinpoint what i want to do with it if that makes sense like i don't know if i just want it to be a clothing company because i, I, I like yeah because it's so oversaturated and unless you have like a really unique idea it's just not it's kind of just going to flop and then i was like maybe i could do like embroidery stuff like, i thought about getting into embroidery and like thinking about embroidering my own stuff but it's still up and running at the moment and i should probably spend some time in isolation thinking about what i'm gonna do with it. what better oh way God. to spend this you know yeah thinking about what's different. yeah i really, hey, really hey, love the hey, designs look, you've got carbs cats and clothes now there you go well exactly <laughs> yeah <laughs> to be like fair lighting like... pizza <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe yeah, i should just make around the wall about though. cats and crisps maybe i should just like crisps. every like different t-shirt with like a different pack of crisps <laughs> on it do that's it. a great shout that's great. Not so much week. Uh, skips Ooh, week. Love that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're all cat lovers, aren't we? How many cats do you yeah. have? I only have one now, but throughout, I've, I don't think I've ever been since I was eight. I don't think I've not had a cat. 
Um, yeah, how many have you got? Yeah. I've got two. I've got, She's got yeah, Chris got two. I've I've got four. I had um, so Gloria and Kenny. So they're brother Amazing. and sister. And before Kenny, we had bless his soul, rest in peace, Mister Pooh. So he was Mister Pooh. Literally Mister Pooh. We were like, we were like, he just looks like Mister Pooh, but it didn't have an H on the end. And my sister was like, we're not calling him that. And I was like, yeah, we are. Um, and he he got run over, and we didn't even have him a year. But he was Chris. How big was he? Massive cat. The biggest cat. Yeah. And he was the friendly. He literally like anyone who walked into the house, he would literally just be their best mate. Mm. Um, so Aww. he passed away, which was so sad. So him and Gloria were brother and sister. And then so we we told the owner, you know, before who gave us them, um, that he passed away. And she said, "Well, I'm actually um I can't." I can't because she's got loads of cats. She was like, I can't really handle having so many cats. But we have Kenny, which is their brother. So we're like, we'll take him. Um, so we <laughs> we'll got take Kenny. <laughs> um, he's awesome. He's he's stupid as fuck. But um, but yeah. And then now we've got two little kittens, uh, Gizmo and Sabrina. We got them in oh! on Halloween. That's yes, so yes. That's the, oh, I love that. They're all I'm black so cats as well, so they're very cute. Yes, that's even better. Yeah. Oh man, I'm really yeah. jealous. I'm surprised mine that's isn't nice. here. Like she's around somewhere, but oh. my cat is absolutely nuts. Like she's. Mine's I saw her. Um, oh, I bed. saw your Instagram story. Uh, you were bashing heads with her before playing piano. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! She <laughs> loves. To be fair, like okay. if I play the piano, she'll come and sit with me. And like if I sing, she'll either come and sit with me or she'll like sit on the keys. Like she'll sit on my hands, and I'm like, maybe she doesn't like my singing. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Oh, I've worked out which one it is just now. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> All right. I remember I played a gig once in Brighton and it was for Brighton Music Festival. And <clears throat> this is like four years ago. And there was an in house like cat and it was deaf. So it would just, and it, it sat behind me the whole, we played like a 40 minute show. And it sat behind me while I was playing drums the whole show. Like in between songs, I'd be like turning around, like tickling his cat. It was so cute. Was I love that it's just death. Like it's just like yeah. It was all. I think it was already me... deaf. So the owner was like, "Let's just get a let's get a cat for the venue." <laughs> so the venue has a cat, which is wicked. That's actually a really good idea because obviously you couldn't have a venue cat with, that wasn't deaf. And like yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah there's no chance it's gonna hurt its hearing. So like it fuck it, put there. it on stage. It yeah. <laughs> That's so <laughs> good. Just this cat just walking around behind me. Yeah, very, I very cool. It. So oh. I have a last question. Chris, do you have any other questions you wanna I don't think I, I do. I know that Ben has sent me a few that he's very, very excited about. Um, Ask away, honestly. Um, ben is so cool. He's been a fan for like four years yeah. and I met him at meet and greet and he was like, Have you heard of the band Creeper? And I'm like yeah, I love them. Um, so uh, oh, we we, uh, we we got closer from that, and we always see him. He's sick. Oh. Um, so he said to me, uh, "Ask her, was there any point that you thought that maybe um, it would get out that you hadn't actually broken up and that you were planning on doing like a whole reunion thing?" To which I wanted to reply, "What well, I knew about it <laughs> from like <laughs> <laughs> last year, but obviously I'm not going to." But yeah, was there like? Was keeping up that on the lowdown quite difficult or did you find it quite easy? It was, yeah, like for me, I find it quite easy because I live so far out from, like I don't live anywhere near Southampton and like, I yeah. don't like, there's there's a, um, a girl that lives in my, uh, in my village called Beth and like she's a sweetheart and like she's like a massive Creeper fan and we met in my co-op and she was like, oh my God, you're Hannah from Creeper. And like we've actually become friends. Like oh, she's God. really, really sweet. And I think... Although I sh like I shouldn't have like I told her and like she's great like she kept it like super wrapped down and like she didn't tell a soul but like I was quite lucky because I didn't really bump into too many people like if I went to shows yeah. I didn't bump into that many people but um and I think Sean was the best at keeping it like Sean's like really good at acting like so many people were like I spoke to Sean and he said that we that like you weren't going to come back and he had like a absolute poker face nice, <laughs> Amazing. nice but nice. i think yeah like it it was i was worried that maybe it would slip out um but it didn't i think some people just knew that it wasn't that wasn't gonna happen but some yeah. people were really like oh my god that's it but i think we did a pretty good job at keeping it yeah down. i think you did to be fair because it was yeah. really fun. i remember because you told us at slam dunk and then god it can't have been much like longer after that 
every time I see Ben, he always asks like, "Ah, oh, like, are you, are you listening to Creeper more?" And I'm like, "Yeah, Ben, like I am." Like, because he he was the one who told me to like get into you guys in the first place, first time I met him, which was about two and a bit years ago, maybe a little bit longer than that. Um, and every time he's like. He, he always just wants to chat about that so I'm like yeah that's cool so he was chatting he was like oh yeah, I'm glad they're not getting back together or anything like that and this was the, f- the first time I saw him after you told us and I was just like it's so sad mate honestly <laughs> gutted. I am yeah. gutted yeah. <laughs> bless him yeah, yeah. no it was, to be fair like I am really glad like for the people that did find out were I'm very thankful to them that like it didn't get because I think yeah. all it would have taken was one person on the Creeper totally. Cult Facebook page to be like, guys, guess what? And then it just, the whole thing would have been ruined. And like, mm-hmm. yeah. 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 So I'm, yeah, I'm very thankful that it, that went the way that it was supposed to. But I did see something funny. Yeah, exactly. And, it's all about trust and all that. And oh, yeah. Like, I just, I was just like, oh, thank God people get it. Mm-hmm. But someone made it, somebody tweeted and they were like, do you think Creeper ever gets bored of deleting their social media? And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yes i do yes yes <laughs> not bored time. but like i struggle without like i i do struggle i mean i was in denial about how much i use social media like me and dan especially struggled without instagram and like right. uh, yeah so yes i do miss it uh, I have back now, so that's fine <laughs> <laughs> oh, so how do you fine. feel like how do you feel like you guys coming back has like what's the reception been like it's been great i mean obviously like with everything going on it sucks like this year was meant to be obviously like a really big year it was meant to be like the comeback year and i and it would have been really good and i think it will still be good i think next year i think next year might even be better because we'll be touring as much as we possibly can like just like with you guys like with with anyone with any band i think i mean it's going to be everyone's going to be fighting for like venues and stuff (laughs) yeah yeah everyone's gonna be like no i'm playing that day no i'm playing that day um but everybody like the reception's been really good like the comeback show that we did um in november Mm. was so like that was so so sick i saw some of the photos from that it looked so fucking good it was honestly like the feeling that feeling when like because we had like a curtain like a proper like theater curtain and Mm. like oh sweet that opened i was like thank God. god we're back doing this again and yeah. i think that was just the general vibe from everyone they were just like that's God. so cool that's yeah. so cool yeah, um, that was also. great just just another question how was uh how was baby metal oh my god it's so good yeah because like that is so that, good that's, that's we so, wanted to go so but cool. i w- i was in disney and you were in dubai weren't you i was yeah i was in dubai uh, oh no oh dear <laughs> sorry about that no, we, we, we really wanted to go Oh, I wish you guys a cup. It was so good. It was honestly like, oh, I was like, oh my goodness. And like, again, like I, I, I sound like a broken record with like COVID, but like that was the first, I, it was only a little tour. It was only four or five mm. shows, but that was the mm. first tour that we'd done since 2018. Yeah. And it was so oh. like, it, like the, oh, it was just amazing. And like, they yeah, were the it. nicest. Um, oh, good. The, sh- so cool. the show was like, every, we watched them every single night. Yeah, I, I would. Um, you can't I not imagine they put <laughs> yeah. on like an unbelievable show. Honestly, like what goes into it, and the like, they're so. Oh, it was just yeah, and they were just so nice as well for like a big band. You mm. would expect them. Obviously, they were just like you know, like you guys keep yourselves to yourselves, and like this, this is the rules for this, and blah blah blah. But they they were like yeah. so accommodating to us, um, and like we we like met them and like said hi and thank you and like all that kind of stuff and like mm. yeah they were gen- like just the sweetest and That's so i would have cool. loved to have done more shows of them like I, it just didn't it, it started and then it was over because it was only like four shows yeah so. yeah, yeah. It was great. oh my god so sick. that's so cool that's yeah sick. so very jealous um i have a little question um so imagine you know, you're like 18 um what would you what advice would you give to your 18 year old self or any up-and-coming bands Ooh. out there females in the music industry, wanting to go for it, a bit scared. Or even bands, you know, bands coming up and... Yeah, I mean, I would just say, like, I'm just trying to think of 18 me, 18-year-old me. 18-year-old me would not believe what I was doing right now. (laughs) Um, (laughs) I would be like, what? I would just say, like, (laughs) yeah, just 
having the confidence to just keep it going and like mm-hmm. you the the difficult thing and this is something i've always struggled with is criticism or like somebody knocking you back and yeah like we discussed earlier that does happen no and it, it happens with everyone in the music industry yeah um and i would just say just to keep going like if you really believe that you've got something and like you can do something there are shitty people out there that might kind of knock you back but just to to keep going get as much experience as you possibly can like meet as many people as you can and just yeah give it give it as much as 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 possible which sounds like i'm contradicting myself because i was like i'm really lazy earlier (laughs) (laughs) you can but do that (laughs) not everyone's as lazy as i am well, I, I, I'm probably running you very close with that. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think you and I could probably just yeah, yeah. cats and calves all day. <laughs> cats and calves. And Bron and oh, Will will just the be dream. there like, oh, yeah. so I've got all these ideas. <laughs> yeah. I'm okay. so like ADHD like, and OCD as well. So like, if I'm not, if I'm daydreaming, it has to be like, right, what am I going to do? Da-da-da. Let's literally yeah, like, 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 it's the most Every parent's evening in school. Just- all the right. teachers were like, Bronny is literally away with the fairies 24 <laughs> 7. Like random shit. And I'm like, oh no. Can't help it. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or is I just us and cats and calves? That's, yep, cats that's and calves. At. That's where it's at. The end. Yeah. The end. Absolutely. <laughs> Get so, D and D. It's all about C and C. <laughs> Wicked. Well, thank you so so much again for for coming on. Again. No, of course. Um, uh, yeah it's 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 been wicked to chat and hopefully we'll see you soon once all this is over we can like actually can come and out. see you play and all hang out yeah. and it'll be wicked yeah i can't literally like come, you guys come to our show and like we'll come to yours like uh, yeah we'll oh, hang yeah. out i mean yeah. i'm gonna be hanging out with everyone as soon as it's, it's safe to do so. yes i mm-hmm. need yeah. to see people <laughs> same i need like, humans really that aren't see. just yeah. my family <laughs> please yeah, let me see my friends up. now Yes. Yeah, it's killing I'm me. I'm speak it's cat language me. now. I'm just going that insane. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm literally. Starting, my cat is like my friend. Like, starting me out. No, but I'll be, but <laughs> everyone stay safe. Like, please don't go out and yes. make it worse. <laughs> the end. Exactly. Um, yeah. Anyway, thank you so so much for coming on. Uh, of course, thank you. Yeah. Where can people find you? Your social medias, your handles, all that kind of stuff. Uh, my Instagram is. Hannah Hermione and my Twitter is Hannah underscore Hermione. Nice, nice. So yeah. guys, go and Hell follow yeah. if you don't already. Um, this has been Mom, it's my life. Hell yeah! Hope you enjoyed and... the podcast, you guys. Yeah, Wicked. it's been fun. Um, awesome. Right. Thanks, guys. Peace out. Yes. See you soon. Bye. Bye. So That's guys, sick. that was our chat with Hell Hannah yeah. from Creeper, absolute legend. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, mm-hmm. let us know in the comments, whether this be on Instagram. Uh, you can leave us a review on Spotify, I believe. Can you do that? I think you can. I think it's just iTunes. Is it just I iTunes? I don't know. Oh, well, but it. hey-ho, um, she, she's great. Um, we've always found it so easy to speak to Hannah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like, she, she's I've, a great I've only, I've only met her twice, and I've only spoken to her a couple of times. But yeah, one of, one of the absolute legends and is such a, what I found about Hannah that I've kind of learned is that she's such a good like role model for how to be such a genuine industry professional. Yes. Um, Cause like learning, like obviously not, I've not spoken, particularly not spoken to her a lot, but how we can just chat. It's so nice to see that that's kind of like, she doesn't see any bias in the fact that she is up there and like i am down here like career wise so which i really like so yeah legend she's awesome Absolutely shout out to hannah shout right guys hannah. we hope you have enjoyed this episode we'll see you very mom, soon mom. mom it's my life Woo-hoo. bye-bye <laughs> doing the best <laughs> dance <impression>. <laughs> you look like uh hey, that's so raven when she tries to do dance a TikTok. Dude. I don't know. I think it's like <laughs> work the hips, Christopher. <laughs> hips to work. Um, yeah, hips guys, lie. thank you for watching. Stay safe. Stay isolated. Peace out. Eat quavers. Love Goodbye. Your thank you for listening to the Mom It's My Life podcast. Bernie and Pete are hobberknockers who forgot to end the podcast so now I'm here, I don't get paid enough for this job man, fuck.